And they presented an Irish-made fiddle to the Irish Canadian Cultural Association and Canada's Irish Festival on the Miramichi. And the idea was that a genuine fiddle was presented to encourage promising young musicians in New Brunswick to compete for the fiddle or to hold the fiddle for one year and pass it over to an emerging musician in the next year. It is hoped that the fiddle will be known as the Inner Show in New Brunswick Friendship Fiddle in recognition and gratitude to all the people of New Brunswick for their friendship with Ireland over the years. And so that started that year, and the first recipient of the fiddle was Kathleen Gorey McSorley from Fredericton, New Brunswick. The second recipient was Erica Murray from Moncton. And I'm going to ask the third recipient to come up on stage with me and bring the fiddle with him. Alexandra Banks from St. John. And while he's coming up, I want to make note of Roy McSorley and Dennis Noel, who took over the management of this fiddle a year ago. I want to thank Veronique and the festival for giving us a venue to promote this fiddle in the way that the Inner Show and people hoped it would be promoted. And Alexander's had a good year, I think, with the fiddle. He's kept track of what he's done with it, and I'm sure that he's added life and vitality and maturity to the fiddle. So, let me see. Just to give you an idea, Alexander's been playing the fiddle for five years now. Four years? All right. And you're going into grade eight this year? Okay. You live in St. John. Al Stackhouse was your fiddle teacher. And he did a very good job because you and three other people played for a half an hour before the opening ceremonies. Thank you very much. And so this year, we have a new holder of the fiddle. And it was the committee's decision that the fiddle go from Alexandra to a young man who lives in Fredericton, New Brunswick, by the name of Sidney Murgatroyd. Sidney, would you come forward? I'll get you just to stand over here beside Alexandra, if you would, for a second. I think what we're going to do, if everything works out, is we'll finish with the uh, with the podium duties, and then we'll ask Alexandra to pass the fiddle over to Sydney, and we'll close by hopefully having Sydney play a couple of tunes for us. Would that be all right? Okay. Are you going to play something together? Even better, on one fiddle? Oh, okay. I'm just checking. Now. Pat Murphy, who was our president when this fiddle was first presented, had a large plaque made, and the names of the holders of the fiddle go on that. And Alexander's mom was kind enough to remember, thank you, Michelle, to bring it back to us. And we'll find a suitable place to hold that where, where Sydney lives down in Fredericton. And when we get back to Fredericton, we'll have a small ceremony down there with our chapter. And this was done in St. John with Alexandra as well. And we'll present him with a small keeper trophy to take home. And we'll get him to play the fiddle down in front of his home fans. So I hope that's okay, Sydney. All right. <laughs> Tell you a little bit about Sydney. He was born in Fredericton. He's currently a student at Nashua Access Middle School. And he began his fiddling career at the age of six in the strings program at Park Street. And Sydney, you're going into grade nine this year, right? All right. Now, Sydney doesn't just play the fiddle. He plays the violin, which is not quite the same. If I remember correctly, you play the piano a bit. You took up the saxophone. Yeah, uh-huh. You dance. Yeah, Alexander dances. Man, I want to tell you, there's not a single musician around that doesn't do a dozen things. So, I think what I'll do is, Alexander, could I ask you to pass the fiddle over to Sydney? That's great. Sydney, that's yours for a year. Take good care of it. We will get you a new set of fiddle strings that go with it, and uh, we'll see you playing it over the next year.
Ladies and gentlemen, Alexander Banks and Sidney Murgatroyd.